Well, guys, it's officially summer. <laughs> it's about 92 degrees here, and it's warm. I did about half of a video and then realized the fans were on, and I probably couldn't hear, so I had to start over and turn off the fan. But we'll start right here at the back. This is the only little babies I have right now. Remember, she had a uh, six. Two that looked like this was the one that was bred to that Harlequin uh, Dutch. It had two Dutch looking ones and four just uh, Charlies. But they're doing good. They're about a week old. Two, excuse me. And their mama was this half Dutch, half Mini Rex. Uh, Bell, and then we have Dot back there. She's a red and white mini rex. All right, here's some of my breeder reds. Uh, on this aisle, they are all bred for meat pens. They were all bred day before yesterday and yesterday, so they're just now bred. I need them to be uh, babies to be 12 weeks in the middle of September. We have uh, I gotta remember all these <laughs> Zoe. She's the one that my original one um, that y'all have seen forever. This is her daughter, Maya. She was the one raised with Miracle. And don't she look just like her mama? They look just alike. She's just bred. She's five and a half months old. Hey, Maya. Okay. And then we have Checkers right here. I know, doesn't she look like Checkers? Have Checkers right here. And this is her half sister. Her name is, and she was the one that was over in this other pen as a youngster. She's grown up fast, and she was bred. She's five and a half months old, and her name is Chess. Get it? Checkers and Chess. <laughs> uh, but she's a real pretty doe, too. She's a pedigree, broken red, um, and she looks real good. And since I'm here, uh, and this is uh, Checkers that y'all know, this is my new pen. It is has a... Uh, six pin it has double it's all coated wire coated wire double lock doors has trays it comes with wheels you can roll it around I got this from a guy for seventy five dollars yeah I got a pretty good deal on it but it's a six hole unit and I stuck it up underneath this tree right here so it gets full shade my young reds are in here this is the one that I went and picked up. Her name's Moon. She's a young pedigreed red. This is a heavy red uh, pedigreed doe. And she's actually uh, a lot related to, I'm not sure if they're full sisters, than that one over there, that daughter, or that girl over there that broke them. She just has more red on her. She's out of the next litter. Um, here is uh, my new pedigreed broken buck. I haven't named him yet. Um, I want it to be something different, so I haven't. I'm planning on having him for a while. Hopefully, if everything works out good. But he's a big lazy boy, and he's doing good. Here is another. And so the three rabbits I picked up was this doe here, this Clint buck here, and this buck down here. This heavy broken buck down here. And this is just a mixed breed doe. They remember that one I got out of Rachel. I bred her to a uh, mini Rex for the Easter run. And so I put them over there. And so that one and that one. I'm trying to make sure I show you all of them. Okay. And then, but isn't that pin nice? It has double latches on it and everything. It's all uh, plastic coated wire. Oh, I forgot I put you down here, boy. This is my young buck. I'm going to call him Tail. He's out of those bucks I had in that pin together. Uh, he did his first breeding about a week ago, uh, a little less than a week. I bred him to this doe here because I didn't want to breed it back to Big Red because that's her daddy. Not that that's a bad thing as long as, yeah, that's a long story on line breeding. But uh, in this case, I did not want him bred back to her. And so I bred that young buck that's not out of the same blood to her. Um, and he's down there for the reason that this has more shade. You can see Big Red's kind of in the sun. Over there, it's not as bad as it looks on here, but he's kind of the sun, and I want this buck fertile as long as I can get him. I really don't have any more. I need to breed to Big Red, so if he goes sterile, that's okay. Not a problem, but I need this little one because I still have uh, two does that I need to breed to him. 
um, in the future, and so I don't want him. I don't want him going stereo yet. I'm trying trying to get it right in my head and then tell y'all correctly, and so that's why I'm having to. All right, this is my eating pen. I have uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight in here. Some, and this is ones that I had, and um, I got back when I took them to one of the establishments that I sell the babies. These weren't bought, and so they got bigger, and I swapped them out with little ones. And these will just be meat pen. And then I have one little red in there. You'll see he's not little. He's seven weeks. I'll show you the other litter. I have that litter 11. He has bad teeth. They're crooked, so he automatically goes to the meat pen. Uh, Y'all know little red. He's doing good. Here's that mini rex doe. Hey, Mama. The opal. And look what she had. And whoever said it, somebody hit on the head when they were young that she had an opal. And uh, I believed you, but I didn't, didn't even have looked. And so she does. And so I'm about to sell Opal, the mama. I'm going to sell this one just because I need cage space. And now that we're going through the summer months, I'm not really needing them. I'll have young ones to replace them. Well, she's young. She's only five months old. But um, I don't need her um, is what it comes down to is, is wanting her and don't needing her. And so getting rid of that one. And then I'm getting rid of, if she don't have babies, this one I got, this lion head doe. That she, she's supposed to be 30, 29, 30 days bred. And she may be bred. She has a little belly, so she may surprise me and have four or five. But if she doesn't, she'll be sold. And even if she does, she'll be sold after those. She's a really good mama. She's the one that the animal pat patrol people found and brought her to somebody else. And that person brought her to me because they didn't want her. Um, this is Miracle. She's gotten big and pretty. Yeah. She's gotten big and pretty. Um, this is... <laughs> this is their mama. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm by myself. <laughs> We're going to fatten her up and breed her back for probably in a month. I'll give her a few weeks off. But she's plenty healthy for raising 11 babies. But this is Star. And I'll give her a big cage when I can get one. She's fine by herself in here um, for right now. Got this mini Rex doe. And she's supposed to be doing a week or so. I don't think she's bred. I think she skipped. A couple of the does that I bred to that black buck skipped. So that may have been why they got rid of them. I don't know. You always learn stuff about when you get stuff. Here's Lily. Uh, she's bred to Big Red this time. She's going to have uh, eaten babies this time. Um... And I'd be tickled if I could get some red otters out of Big Red in her. So we'll just see. I don't know what they'll throw. But that's kind of in the back of my mind would be nice. Winning a, a red rabbit that has her white or her cream on her ears and under her belly be pretty. Hmm, just a thought. Okay, here's that other black buck that I haven't got no baby. I, have, I haven't got. Boy, I'm from the south. I have not gotten any babies out of yet. But um, if that white lion head has babies, then he'll be a proven sire because uh, she's a, she was bred to him. Here's another few of the meat pens just chilling. And that red baby back there, and that red baby's going to wherever he wants to be. Then we have Big Red sleeping away his life. We have nine left in this litter. One I called out as a pet because it was too light. And then one I've cold out because of bad tea. The rest are they're right at seven weeks, a little under seven weeks old. Okay, Bob. Yeah, go put it back right now. Go put it back. The rest are doing fine. Okay, go put it back now. Uh, and then I showed y'all Miracle, and I've showed y'all these already. Okay, well, that's about it then. Let me show you the, the pheasants. I have sold them, and I'm working on getting another hen. She's going to come pick them up on Monday. They're going to a good home where she raises fannies by nature. And so she's going to keep the mama after the babies. But she thought it was so cool that I had done pheasants. And so they're going to they're going to let her raise the pheasants. <laughs> and, you know, because that's what a lot of people do. They'll let the hens ch uh, catch them, and then they'll take them away from them. And I just I love a hen teaching them how to scratch. And that's why I'm not keeping these. When I get in the country, I'll do the exact same thing. But they need to be on the ground. That way the mom can teach them how to scratch and how to live. And I can't do that here. Um, just not just not an option for me. So I do this part, and then I sell them. And then I'm working on getting another hen. 
and doing it all over again with peacocks. I'd love to catch out four or five peacocks. But I'm going to let y'all go. Um, do a do me a favor. Do me a thumbs or comment, a thumbs up if y'all don't if y'all are okay with these longer videos. Do a do a thumbs down or a um, just a comment saying yes, yeah, shorter ones are preferred, and I'll do smaller ones. I won't do everything at a time. I'll do babies or do grown ones. Um, just whatever you prefer. Because sometimes you know long videos get long, and so if these feel long to you, then comment or do a thumbs down, and I'll understand what you're saying. I know why you're thumbing me down. All right, y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.